Hello, what is up? Welcome back to another video. And so today, yet again, let's talk about some Jamstack. And so especially about performance and new ways to use the Jamstack to get even faster websites. Because Jamstack is considered to be the fastest website, right? You create a static page, you put it on the CDN and you scale to infinity. However, I think there's a little new ones we need to add to this to actually make sure that we understand why we need less JavaScript to make your site even faster. Because there's lots of people that actually get cheaper devices now. Because in the second and third world, everybody's going to come online now. And these devices have the promise to be fast, but they really are not. And JavaScript is the thing that bogs them down. So wouldn't it be cool if I could use my favorite frameworks like Vue or React and then, at the, and then render a Jamstack site and then choose exactly what JavaScript is going to the client and which is used in SSR on build time, right? And so there is a tool like that now and it's called Astro. And it's probably gonna be one of my more favorite tools because it allows me personally as a developer to choose which bit of JavaScript goes to the client. And that just makes the site so much faster. So in this video, I will show you how I used Astro Prismic, Vue, and React, yes, all of them together to actually build an experience um, that works really well. So let me show you. All right, we are in the browser now, and as you can see, there's a list of all my videos. So I've queried Prismic, I've gotten all the data, and I looped over it, and I rendered these items. And as you can see, those are few items. I added a little few tag here. So I use Vue.js to render the image and the text and stuff like that. And then when I click on one of those items, I'm actually going to an Astro page where there's no Vue.js at all. Um, the interesting thing here is, this is Vue, right? But look at the network tab. There's no Vue.js bundle because it's done on SSR. So let's have a look how I did it. So in the Astro index file, which is, you know, they use a pages folder and if whatever um, file you put in there becomes the route. It's like next and next, do it as well. And so there's one extra thing that's a bit different here. You have this block here between those lovely dashes. Inside here, you can actually code whatever you want. And this is SSR. So all the consts and props and whatever you, you return here, go into the HTML below and it will all be server side. So you can see I queried Prismic here. I import my view component. I map over my videos and then here there's a bunch of HTML and this stuff here is like JSX, JSX like Astro code. And so I'm mapping over my videos and I load a view component here. And this is my view component. So when we have a look at that view component, it's just a normal view component. You know, there's a video prop, which is an object. I can show all the stuff. I loop over the text, just how you would do it on view. However, someone with a keen eye might have seen this here. This is actually the same component in React. You just write it slightly differently, right? You just add props, return, and then do the same HTML. And so if you can see in my Astro config, I actually have render a view and render a React. And so we can use whatever we want, which tools they have a renderer for, and you can run with it. So how about we add that React component inside, right? So we'll do import, and we, I just called it React here, from, and then we call it components, and then, video item react.jsx and I probably have to do this. Okay, so now we've loaded react and how about we just do this then react and give it a video prop. Um, right now, if we save, it won't work because actually you cannot have two root items here. So we have to add like a little fragment. Oops, oops, autocomplete. Okay, the fragment was added. So we now have looping over a video or over all videos. I pro give the video to both components. And so as you can see it already in the background refreshed, we have now view and react items. Still no bundles here, which is cool, right? So I now can just grab a react component if I like it or grab a view component if I like it, put it in and everybody's happy. Um, however, what if I wanted to use 
Vue.js component as a bundle on the front end to hydrate and React we keep as SSR. So how we, about we do that now? So what you can do is this, client visible. So when it's visible in the client, hydrate it. And now we just it just reloaded itself, right? And look, there's a whole bunch of Vue.js stuff now actually in the network tab. And suddenly this guy, all these few ones, they are now actually hydrated on when they are visible in the browser with JavaScript in the front end. But if I didn't want to do that, I would just remove it. It refreshes and now there's no JavaScript used anymore. I can also do something like only when my processor is idle, now load it in. And well, my processor was idle because there's there's not much happening. So it, 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 it did it immediately. But that is a really nice way to code because you can choose which bit of JavaScript is going to go to the client and which bit is not. Anyways, that was it. I just wanted to show you the awesomeness of this and the, the huge potential this has for the future of how we build websites. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.